Hello, my darlings. Happy Wednesday to you. Welcome back to my channel. We're doing a bit of a different video today. We're going to do an overview video for the new Jardin garden pack or stuff pack from two of my favorite custom content creators and friends, Felixander and Harry, or Harry and Felixander. They've collabed quite a few times now um with my most favorite packs that i've ever seen custom content wise in the sims 4 uh the bathroom pack and the kitchen pack and the tiny travelers pack as well they are just stunning so I, this is the first time i'm seeing this as well i've managed to try and stay away from as many screenshots and stuff as possible and i had to mute <laughs> harry and felix hander on twitter so i didn't get spoiled so i could do this overview video <laughs> So sorry, friends. I did have to mute you on Twitter. You are unmuted now. Everything is okay. <laughs> but I just didn't want to get spoiled. Um, this is going to be my first time properly looking through the stuff, seeing what we've got, seeing the swatches because they're all so bloody good at swatches. And then what I'm going to do is do a little mini speed build of a garden at the end. But yeah, this is going to be a new thing on my channel. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more custom content packs. Definitely Max's match. I'm not into alpha graphics in The Sims 4. I like alpha graphics, just not in my game in The Sims 4. So I always look for Max's match um, or, or as near as possible with the custom content that I use in The Sims 4. So I will be looking at other creators as well. There are a few names on my list that I really want to do some overviews for. Um, and as new packs come out, I'll do it that way as well. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into game and I'll we'll go through all of the items and have a look at the swatches. And then, as I said, we'll go into a speed build afterwards. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's go. So here we are, my darlings. Look at this array of gorgeous stuff here. Ignore the OMSP shelf. I don't know why that's still in my game, to be honest with you, because I never use it anymore. Um, lots of things to play with. I can see already there's lots of things to play with. Ignore this build as well. I'm very ashamed of it. But this is not the speed build, by the way. <laughs> I just wanted a garden to kind of showcase these products in and have a little look through them. And I thought, bugger it, let's build a big grey block and do it that way. And that's what we've done. Okay, so the first object, I think, is a pile of cushions. So we obviously have this in game already, but in awful swatches. Now we have it. Oh, I love that colour. Oh, that colour is gorgeous. Oh, look at it in that light. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm swooning over a pile of cushions on the floor, but that is lovely. Oh, we've got some deep reds as well. Let's get in a bit closer, shall we? There we go. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Again, look at this matches map graphic. Look at it. It's bloody stunning. Oh, notice they've utilized this color quite a bit through their packs. Um, I love that color. Absolutely love it. God, there's an array of swatches here, my darlings. Let's get onto the tab mode and sort of see. Look at this. Look. Look. I think that that's what, like, one of my favorites. I really do. I love that color. But I do love this, like, salmon-y color as well. But I'm going to put it back in that one. I'm not going to have a whiffle through the other stuff as well. So this is a leather buffet. Oh, my God. This is gorgeous. I saw a buffet of this, um, or poof, whatever you call it. Um, Does anybody watch... The repair shop. <laughs> I love it. I'm addicted to it. There was one of these leather poufets that they um they had like this with all the panels on, and she had to repair it, and it was gorgeous. Again, it's this swatch for me. I think that is absolutely stunning. It's almost like got a tan kind of like. <gasps> That's gorgeous, you guys. That is lovely. I will be using that an awful lot. <gasps> oh, look at that ribbing on the edges. I'm for it. I know it's. I know of the furniture that you might have got inspired from from this as well. Um, and I'm here for it. I really am. So this is obviously another buffet. It's this swatch. I'm definitely going to utilize this swatch in my speed build because I'm in love of it. I do love the green. I do. I, all of the swatches, to be honest with you. But oh my God, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Really is. Oh, right. We'll keep you. That's gorgeous. Stunning. It's just going to be me for like half an hour. Gonna, that is stunning. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, guys, that is lovely. I can see it's the texture of that flooring that I love. 
on there. But done a bit better. Oh, in that colour as well. That goes really nicely with this. Oh, I'm for it. Really am. Oh, I love that. It's just going to be me going, love that. Oh my God, love it. Love that. Stunning. Oh my God, that's lovely. Was oh, that rosemary? Ah, <gasps> there's rosemary. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I do. I love it. A little stool. <gasps> no, you did not. You did bloody not. Oh, they did, I tell you. So you can kind of round this off. I'm for that. You could even put this around a fire pit, which is probably what this was utilized for. Oh, I'm for that, I tell you. Oh, that's so lovely. So lovely. What swatches have we got with you then, darlings? All the lovely neutral tones, flat woods, warm woods, a bit more going up to the Scandi kind of like styles. But we have got these greens as well, pale green and a darker green. Let's get one of them in. Oh, yeah, that's nice. But maybe just a tad warmer just for, there we go. Oh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh my God, look at this dining chair. <gasps> my parents have got these chairs. Oh, I love them. Love, love, love. Again, going through all of the swatches that the wood tones are going to come in. I really enjoyed that you went with the green for this. I'm very much into that. Very much into that indeed. They are stunning. Let me just get a little closer look at these. Go away. Let me have a little closer look at the shape. Oh, I'm for it. Guys, you execute these so well. You really do. You really bloody do. You bloody do, I tell you. Okay, onto the sofa. So we've kind of like got modular sort of sets here, it looks like. Um, You could like utilize these together or you could even maybe if I... Oh, you could even do a day bed unless they've done a day bed. No, they haven't, but... You could even like utilize these together. Yes, your Sims could not get on them, but it looks great. <laughs> but saying that, you could get a Pouffet in the middle. You know, let's see what colors these sofas come in as well. <gasps> they are gorgeous. I love the ribbing around the edges. Oh, they've got that color. Oh, it's this color for me, guys. Stop doing this to me. Oh, that's stunning. I love it. There we go. Oh, that is my favorite color out of the hose swatches. Gorgeous. But again, obviously, it comes in all of the array of colors that this uh, Pouffet did as well. I I love the mixtures as well. I love that you're kind of going with a bit more of a mixture with your tones too. Love that. Love that. But this is the OG swatch for me. It really is. I'm here for it. Really, I'm here for it. So yeah, obviously we got them and then we've obviously got the full sofa size as well. Let's go back the other way so I can get that sexy swatch that I'm creaming over. I did not. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yes, it's this mixture. I just, I just love it. I'm for it. Really am. And the same with this as well. So they've obviously got a love seat version of this too, which is gorgeous and a day bed. Oh, so maybe I could. They have got a day bed, but I was just thinking more double day bed. Let me just see this. I'm just going to utilize this. Again, they won't be able to get and use this, but I just love the way that that looks. Oh, God. Well, they could. They could. I wonder if they could walk up and use this. Let's get this in the right swatch so we know what we're working with. Show me what you're working with. Oh, stunning. Oh, that's gorgeous. I want that in my garden. I really do. Okay. Well, Onto the benches. We definitely need some more benches. Not picnic benches, though. I hope you haven't done any picnic benches. Harry and Sam, you know my feelings on picnic benches. We've got enough of them in game, thank you. <laughs> That's lovely. Simple, minimal, gorgeous, just the right size, not too chunky. I'm here for that. Right, let's get rid of that poofix. because we've already got you out. Love the texture of the wood that you've done on it as well. Oh, here for it. And then they've got a long bench, like a three by one as well. Again, you could utilize these benches and make some interesting shapes with them in your garden, in your jardin. You really could. Oh, shit, the bed. Oh, I love them. So yeah, three by one and a two by one. Here for that. What's this? Oh, it's a floating island. So this is obviously going to go with the kitchen that they've got. Um, 
I reckon this is going to utilize most of the textures from there. Kitchen pack, stunning. Absolutely here for that. I will be there for the concrete for my build. Oh my god, you could even have them like floating off of like fences and stuff. Oh, I'm here for that. And nothing is stopping you from using this on the indoors either. Like you could use this in your kitchens. Stunning. Here for it. <laughs> Absolutely here for it. Um, and then obviously we've got the full counters. I can just imagine what these swatches are going to be like. We're going to have an array of swatches. Look at this, guys. The Sims team could never. Come on, Sims team. Catch up, sweeties. Catch up, darlings. Oh, I love that color. I love that color with that concrete. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to get that one back because I'm here for it. And then obviously it has got... Oh, God, I've just got rid of all my custom content. I hate that. It's obviously got all of the sizes, some with objects on them. What's that? Little saw condiment bottles down the bottom. Beautiful. A little corner moment with more things in the shelves like some excuse you oh god look at the state of this for goodness sake Aiden. as i was saying before i was rudely interrupted by my menu all of the shapes yeah we got the corner one out there as well so you can make a lovely outdoor dining and like eating area love the fact that they've utilized these underneath as well chopping boards and pots and pans they've got such a great eye for detail Oh, wow. Dining tables. Wow. Okay, we have a nice succulent moment going through the middle. Again, these graphics are just fitting into the game perfectly. They really are. I'm, I'm loving this light timber with the concrete. I really, really love that. But again, you can go warmer with it. A lot warmer. That's even beautiful as well. Um, Was there a ready tone I saw then? No, there wasn't. I thought that was a ready tone. Oh, I've never seen them use a ready tone before. <clears throat> I'm not about mahogany, I won't lie to you. I'm really not about mahogany. But I'm loving this. Oh, gorgeous. And then obviously we've got a bigger version of this table. Oh, I'm definitely going to be using this in the little mini speed build at the end as well. For sure. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Stunning gorgeous. Um, Wow. Love this table. My parents sim sim has got a similar table to this as well um look great with these chairs let's get them around it shall we just to see how many snap points we've got i think i can yep so we got a nice six snap point table which is stunning 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 did we get a parasol yeah we did so, oh it does is that a snap point in there or can you just click it in doesn't oh that's gorgeous same sort of um Oh, look at that colour. It's going to match in with my favourite tone that's coming from this pack. Please use that colour a little bit more through your packs, my loves. Because I love it. I really do. I always enjoy a dark wood with a crisp white parasol. Don't know why, but I really do. I'm here for it. Um, Let's put these next to the kitchen so we know what we're working with. I'm not going to sing. Um, Okay, an end table. Oh, lovely. Oh... So that's like got like a nice like iron bottom to them. And again, coming in for Oh, you even lightened up the iron underneath as well. Well, that's really cool. I'm glad you've done that. Yeah, I'm really glad you've done that. But again, you can put these practically anywhere you wanted, really. By the end of a bench, by the end of a sofa, which is probably where I would put mine. You know? Oh, gorgeous absolutely stunningly gorgeous i'm here for it. oh you've done a picnic table get out <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> it's probably stunning it's stunning it's it's the benches with the concrete top i'm here for it <laughs> i bet i bet if sam is watching this she was like no we did a picnic table <laughs> we definitely did a picnic table i'm loving this watch i'm loving that i think it's the flooring that i'm really loving this flooring's from them um, the star wars pack by the way um, I think it's the flooring that's making me love this swatch. So I might have to utilize that a little bit in the speed build. I really will. Really, really will. We're going to run out of space here, loves. We really are. We're going to run out of space. Um, so, we, oh, so you've done a table with... Ah, oh, cool. So you don't even have to put that underneath of it. Because you can just get one with a connecting parasol. But it's nice to be able to... Can you change the parasol... Um, 
separately? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, hang on. No, you can't. It just changes with it. But you can change the parasol separately if you wanted, which is nice. That's a very nice option. Thank you very much, guys. Here for it. Lovely. So they've obviously got this for... Um, let's just get rid of you first, my darling. What's the difference between these two then? Shallow sink and a deep sink. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, cool. Okay. I was like, oh, they're the same height. <laughs> no, what they mean by that is they are actually like that. So you can sit them flush into your sides. And again, coming in a massive variety of swatches to match in with your countertops. Stunning. So well done. What's this? Oh, it's the water slide. Oh, cool. Oh, that's really cool. We're going to pop you over here because you're very large, darling. Oh, cool. Okay, so we can get a tasteful looking water slide, which I'm here for. Because the other ones are garish. With all of those hideous bloody sharks and everything over the top of them. I swear the Sims team thinks we're about six sometimes. I'm sure they really do. And again, coming in a massive variety of swatches with that as well. Um, planters. Gorgeous. Is that concrete detail underneath? Or is that wood? I think that's wood. Lovely. Oh, it's almost like birch. It's like a birch underneath. Oh, look at all these swatches. Oh, I'm stunningly here for it. I really am. And you can even get the birch stained as well, look. But I'm just loving this vibe. Loving this vibe for this pack. Really am. And obviously this vibe. That is going to be utile. And that, just like how well that goes together. Those two swatches. Oh, I'm here for it. Absolutely here for it. Go back there. And then obviously a smaller version of that as well. Is that a round version there? What's this? A paddling pool. Cool. Again, a tasteful swatch for the paddling pool. Even though there is a neutral, a couple of neutral swatches for the square paddling pool they've got. It would be nice to utilize a bit more of a tasteful, like, look. You know, here for it. Okay, on to one of my favorite parts, I can imagine. Plants. So what's this? This is a planted half wall. Let's have a look. <gasps> look at the size of that. Oh, I'm here for it. Oh, je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi, Blair. Oh, I'm here for that. Really am. It's so... Like, I hate having to come out so much on planters sometimes. So having it that thin is just genius, my friends. Genius indeed. Did I um, miss? I did. I miss a bloody coffee table. Lovely. Let's, so I reckon, yeah, that's like the same end table swatch. So I'm here for it. <gasps> look at this. Just look at this. A simple plant just fills me with joy. Coming in in a variety of swatches as well. My God. Oh, wow. Wow. I can see what you've pulled this from and I love it. Absolutely love that. Again, imagine this like, oh, that I'm going to use, utilize the tits off of this plant. I really am. Oh, guys, stunning. And again, oh, let's get down to this level. Again, I can imagine the swatches this comes into. Absolutely beautiful. Excuse me. Oh, there we go. I was like, they've not done swatches. <laughs> of course they've done swatches. It's Harry and Felix Ander, for goodness sake. Yes, here for it. Here for it. Right, go back there. Next plant, please. Oh, what's this? Hydrangea. Oh, lovely. This pack has reminded me of my parents for some reason. And this just changes the colour of the hydrangea, which I'm here for. Love the green one. Stunning. Absolutely here for that. Um, wow. Okay, I've seen what you've done here as well. Oh, this is so good. I love the the bent um trunk. I love that. Absolutely lovely. Again, stunning. Stunning here for it. Stunning. Absolutely here for it. Oh, I missed one. I keep missing stuff. Stop it, Aiden. Oh wow. Oh, so it's utilizing one of my favorite pots. Um, with the like olive looking tree in it and it's got the cactus in it. I love that. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, and another cacti as well. A cactus. So we've got cacti now. Wow. I love this pot. 
I absolutely love that. Oh, guys. Guys, it's all so beautiful. You should be very proud. You really should. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I just love everything. <laughs> I'm going to go over here because we're running out of room. Um, This is lovely. This is utilizing that um tree, isn't it? Oh, I like that very much. This would look lovely in like maybe... I'm doing a Moroccan build at the minute. Spoiler alert for my next speed build. I may have to use a bit of custom content in it now. Because this would look so good in a Moroccan courtyard in the garden. <sighs> Here for that. Stealing that. Thank you. Um. Ooh. Oh, cool. Thank you so much for stripping that bloody um, planter that I was in. That planter was too much. Um. And obviously putting your own shape on it, I would imagine. This is gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, because this object in game, I do love the... But I just hate the planter. And this is a much more minimal planter. Oh, that's lovely. Stunning. Obviously, we've seen the umbrella. This is the pergola post for the pergola. Um, and I've been very excited about seeing this because I did get spoiled by seeing the pergola. That's why I had to mute you, Harry. <laughs> Because I saw it and I was like, damn. Wow. Okay. Oh, this is gorgeous. Let's go over here with the pergola. Come with me. We're going to do pergola things. I'm interested to see what the swatches change the pergola like. So let's have a little goosey gander. Oh, you didn't. Oh, you did. You used that bloody color. I'm here for it. Nice. Okay. This one... I'm feeling that. And I'm feeling the real dark one as well. Where, where am I? What am I doing? Oh, I love warmer wood with black. I really love that. Um, And then obviously we've got the match inside for it here. <clears throat> and it's nice that we've got a difference in how far the actual blinds are drawn too. And then you could obviously make your own if you wanted. If you so wished by using the pole. Oh, wow. Guys, you've done so well. So well. I'm here for it. I'm here for you. That's so cool. I'm definitely going to be utilizing that for the speed build as well. <gasps> a fire pit. I was hoping you did a fire pit. And you did. Oh, lovely. Again, minimal, classy, trendy, all of the things. Obviously, I'm not going to have any bad things to say about this pack. <laughs> stunning. Absolutely stunning. Wow, okay. Oh, so I love that you've done this. So they're all at the same length, but obviously with different wall heights. That is just stunning. Oh, oh I can imagine this at weddings. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, my God, Jean-Paul. Jean-Paul Gaultier, my loves. What? Oh, oh, look at the reflection in the water. I didn't mean to do that. What is this? It's a candle. Oh, it's a Bluetooth speaker. Oh, thank God for that. Because that bloody Alexa that we've got, or whatever it's called in The Sims, is just far too big. I mean, I did just size yours down, but thank you. There's a brand. There's a brand that you got this from, I think. Love that idea. Here for you. Oh, a barbecue. A barbecue, obviously, to match in with all of the sides. And I'm going to get that swatch because I'm here for that swatch. Oh, lovely. Oh, my God. Guys, you have done so bloody well. Did you do anything? Flooring? Nope, nope. You've done enough, my darlings. You have done enough, but I'm just doing this just to make sure. And did I miss anything? I did. I missed the planted bench. <gasps> it's because I'm getting too excited and I'm just getting ahead of myself. Oh, guys. Look, I love, like, the gap in between the bench and the plant a bit. Stunning. I'm just going to do a scan. Obviously, I didn't get the lounger out either. Oh, and it's going to match in with the coffee table and the end table. Oh, I really love that maroon as well. 
Love this. Oh, that color. More of that color, please. Right, let me just get... I'm just scanning. Scanning. Now, I think we actually... Uh, I've actually got through all of the swatches. But my God, I don't think I've seen such a more beautiful garden pack in all my life, to be honest with you. Absolutely stunning. This was... There's so much you could utilize this for. You could use so much on the inside and outdoors. Obviously, it's a, it's a garden pack, so you will use that on the outdoors. Conservatories would look absolutely amazing. And again, you could make your own like pergolas. Oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be absolutely having the time of my life with this speed build. I really am. I can't bloody wait. I cannot bloody wait. Yeah, guys, amazing. So that was the overview part of the new Jardin stuff pack. Again, it's gorgeous. I think I said that about 75,000 times throughout that video anyway, so you know you know what I think of it. Um, I think what we're going to do now is flop on off over to the speed build portion of this and build ourselves a sexy garden because it's the only right thing to do with a pack this gorgeous. So yeah, um, Harry, Felix, amazing. I adore you both, but let's crack on over to the speed build bit. Well, here we are, my darlings, over to the speed build bit. Now, you might recognize this house if you were an OG viewer of the channel. This was a, the boat house. I built this a while ago and I was like, you need a bit of updating, my love. So I'm going to put a big sexy garden on the back of you. So that's what I decided to do for this build. I decided to put a lovely garden on it, obviously using the new pack. Um, and it just fit really well in my eyes. And yeah, I loved it. So my thoughts were, I was like, mm, I really want a kind of length pool, quite a slim sort of length pool going down quite a bit of a way. And then I almost want this kind of split level vibe going through the garden. So I wanted this raised up patio area where I end up putting a pergola with some lovely seating area and a fire pit up on this section. Um, ignore the size of the pergola for the first time. Uh, I end up shortening it down somewhat because it was just a little bit too large for this area. So I kind of, I do a kind of four square, four by four square one instead of a kind of, yeah, a bigger one. And it just worked a lot better than that. A lot, a lot better like that. Oh my God. I literally just tried to start this recording just a minute ago and couldn't get a word out. So I've just had to restart it. So if I end up derping over words, I don't care. I'm keeping it in. <laughs> We're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love this pack. I really do. And this is the colour that, that I was like absolutely loving. So I utilised this colour quite a bit. Along with some darker woods, some really crisp whites. Um, I end up changing the flooring as well and going for the flooring from the Star Wars pack. I just think it really suits garden space very well. And I love the graphics on it. Um, so we end up utilizing that a little bit better in just a second, but you won't see that until kind of the very end of this sort of like mini sort of slash speed build bit. If you do want me to put this house on the gallery, I will upload it for you guys. Obviously it's got custom content in it. So you may, you need to make sure to check your filtering options. Uh, and also the inside is completely unfurnished. I'm just going to, if you do want it, I'll upload it that way. It's got a lovely garden, but it's completely unfurnished and maybe that you could, uh, um, furnish it yourselves just let me know if you want me to put it on the gallery just let me know in the comment box below my loves um but yeah this little area here i was like oh these are not going to fit around this fire pit really so and i don't think that they would sit on these chairs either because they don't haven't got a snap point to the fire pit i don't think they would sit on them as such but i was like i don't care i'm using them with the fire pit i think they would look absolutely great so i end up kind of spacing them out after much working <laughs> i ended up spacing them out and doing it that way and i just think they look really nice around a fire pit really do i can see myself sitting here on a summer's evening pims in one hand soaking up the rest of those sun rays and chilling out for the evening i don't know about you lot but i could definitely see myself here um so I was like, yeah. And I ended up pushing the fire pit a little bit towards the end because I was like, oh, I'd like to put a bench or something behind it. Um, so I ended up using that really, this really lovely bench here with the two kind of like planters on them. Absolutely love that. It's stunning. Really is. Now with this here, I decided to go uh, and build a kind of almost like just a border wall. So it's a wall with um, some plants and stuff at the bottom with some ivy climbing up. 
And I put a little patio area in front of it as well, where, where I end up putting some sun lounges. I just thought that'd be a nice space near the edge of the garden where you could come and soak up some lovely rays. So that is exactly what we went and did. And I utilized these gorgeous kind of half plant planters everywhere because I'm just in love with them. That's probably one of my favorite objects from the pack. It really is, including the sofas. Like uh, they, they just, they were the winners for me. They were the winners for me for this pack. They really were. Um, and I was like, oh, they look a little bit just plonked there. So I just softened them in with a slight cheeky little bit of landscaping um utilizing some objects from debug but also jungle adventure as well and i just thought it looked very nice on the patio i wanted it to look a little bit more natural and that is the vibe that we came up with and i really like it i really do like it i was like what kind of wall lights do i want to put in the middle of these as well so i end up using the city living ones but I size them down, you'll see in just a second, these ones here, and I end up sizing them down and just doing them in a white, and it just, I don't know, just, I love kind of modern urban looking gardens, I really do, um, but I don't like when they look too kind of crisp and cookie, cookie cutter, I prefer when they've got a bit more of a softened edge using landscaping and using trees and hedges, this hedge is from Debug by the way, or the live edit, and I sized it all the way down just so the view would not be blocked from the kind of seating area. I didn't want to put it in front of it too much. So I end up even sizing it down some more in front of it. Just so you didn't block that vantage point. You would not want that vantage point blocked, would you? If you had this lovely decking area with a view over the harbour, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a good thing. Um, this is me playing around with Ivy. And I was just like, no, Aiden, just concentrate. Stop getting distracted. And just and just landscape the tits off of this, if you would, please. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and yeah, it just came through. Use it. I don't know why I use that white lavender bush. I'm kind of looking at it now like, oh, you kind of look a little bit out of place, but I don't care. She's invited. She's here to stay. You may move it if you wish. <laughs> but yeah, you can see what I did. I sized down the hedges there just so uh, they wouldn't, their view wouldn't get spoiled. And it was looking a bit weird, the kind of connecting hedge. The, like the short hedge to the large hedge so i end up um yeah i ended up just overlapping a few there now i wanted a lawn area so i used the eco lifestyle lawn and i end up doing this kind of like sort of lawn mower um marks M blue thank you very much it's snorting his head off then he always knows when i'm recording um and yeah this is that what i was saying the sun lounger area obviously the flooring has been changed now i actually did that off of camera i was like oh i'm not liking the vibe of that uh, patio anymore i'm going to change it and mix up the couple of the star wars pack ones and i just really like them really do like them now this area here i was like oh what do i want to do here i wanted a lawn area but i wanted the lawn also to be used so i end up putting the planters and stuff down here and it really worked it really worked towards the end um there was a few little tweakages i had to do but i still feel like it i don't know kind of came through rather nicely um, and I end up using these little uh, patio pieces. These are from Live Edit as well, and they all come in kind of a regular shapes. So I utilize them by just doing a pathway all the way across so you wouldn't be walking on the lawn. You wouldn't ruin the lawn. God, I'm old. I'm old, aren't I, if I'm moaning about people ruining lawns. And I don't even have a lawn. Do not even have a lawn. But um, I was just like, yeah, let's put them there. And I really like the, like the different kind of ways you can put them really enjoy that um and yeah obviously the lawn has now got a place for your sims to be able to come and do something on which i'm completely not here for to be honest with you did think about putting the water like um slide thing but i was just like nah let's not now this is me putting this dining table down and thinking god this table is stunning but my god this is tight here so i end up extending the actual um this like raised up patio area out a little bit more um and it just it just fit a lot better fit a lot better and using those beautiful hanging candle lights that are, again one of my favorite objects from the game as well from the game from the pack itself i absolutely love it so yeah this is me extending it now that means i had to shuffle everything forward a little bit but it was fine and it was actually a really nice sized lawn then it was looking a little bit too wide to begin with but as soon as I did that, it was like, oh no, that looks really nice actually. Um, but yeah, this but this house is like a one bedroom little beach house. 
So it'd be perfect for a couple of sims. Um, um, yeah, it would. It would, be, it would be perfect. It really would. I'll actually call it the Boathouse 2.0 if you do want me to put this on the gallery as well. So just keep an eye out for that. Now, this is obviously the balcony. So the balcony got a big bit of space. And I was just like, I want to incorporate a couple of those day beds out here. So again, using my favorite swatch, I kept it quite minimal out there just with a planter, a couple of day beds. And one of those sort of like fire crackling um, coffee table things that I really enjoy. And I would love the Sims team to make some more things like that. Some more kind of fire pit tables or something. I would like to see it. I really would. Definitely. Now this little area down here, which again is another step down from the raised areas, is where I end up putting in a barbecue area. So I was playing around with the shape quite a bit here. Um... And I was just like, oh, what do I want to do? Do I want to kind of box this in? Or do I want to put the barbecue here by the pool? And I was looking at it and I was like, nope, we don't want you there. We're going to change you around. So I end up putting in the barbecue area with all the kitchen sides in its own little area. And then I put a table separately with a parasol and some chairs on the other side. So it kind of segregates the area over here quite nicely. And doing that with countertops is just... I, I enjoyed doing that kind of thing. And I used the concrete with the darker wood tone as well. Um, but yeah, very nice indeed. And I love that flooring from Star Wars pack. I really do. <laughs> so I know not a lot of people have got the Star Wars pack out there. So you might have to um, <laughs> you might have to change the flooring because it would probably come of a base game one if you do download it. But I just think it suits this place very well. And I had to move this tree over. I was just like, you're not giving me enough room to be able to get a nice patio sort of table in uh with a parasol um so i end up moving it over and it just fit in really nicely it really did and it was just tweaking things here and there as well and ignore in the windows if you're seeing aiden that's furnished i get rid of all the furniture <laughs> i get rid of all the furniture at the end and save it so rip to all of that furniture my dears now i'm not going to do a video tour for this one um, I'm going to just go through some screenshots at the end. I didn't have time to film a video at all, sadly. But um, the screenshots here came out really nice. They came out rather lovely. And that is not hard with a custom content plaque that looks as beautiful as this does. So yeah, here are the screenshots. Lovely little view there from the front. Absolutely gorgeous. There's the little lounges there with all those half planters. Stunning. Another little view from there, my darling. That's absolutely beautiful. Love that pergola. Love it. There's a nice little view of the pool with the scenery in the background there. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice little barbecue area as well. Absolutely stunning. This is the view from the balcony. That's absolutely gorgeous as well. And this is the end screenshot. So, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And thank you to Harry and Felix for this amazing custom content pack. It is absolutely gorgeous. You guys are incredible. Um, but that's it, my loves. Let me know what you think about the pack below. As always, I will leave links down to the actual Jardin pack in the description box. I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight at 7 p.m. BST playing The Sims 4. So come and join me if you can. But if not, you, I will see you tomorrow on YouTube with The Sims Medieval. Goodbye, everybody.